How often can you get a cortisone shot? I'm Dr. David Geyer, orthopedic surgeon and sports medicine specialist. I provide education, insight, and commentary on all sorts of sports and exercise injuries, injury treatments, and injury prevention for athletes and active people so that you can stay healthy and perform your best. As an orthopedic surgeon, I get questions all the time about simple treatments that can get people back to what it is they love to do. It may be a sport like soccer or basketball. It may be exercise like lifting weights or running or something like CrossFit. And people want simple fixes. So one of the treatments that people ask about, probably because we used to do this a lot more than we do now, but it's still common in orthopedic surgery, but people ask about cortisone shots. And so the question then comes to, well, if this works, you know, and then it comes back, can I have another one? What if it doesn't work? And in today's Ask Dr. Geyer video, I answer those specific questions. Okay, Jamie asks, how often can you get a cortisone injection? And what if the cortisone shot doesn't work? What's the logical next step? Well, it's hard to really tell uh, Jamie the what if it doesn't work because it really depends on what you're using cortisone for. Cortisone is a steroid, not like a, an anabolic steroid like we hear about with professional athletes, but an anti-inflammatory steroid. It's similar, I suppose, to something like ibuprofen or naproxen, but it's injected directly into the joint. And it works to decrease pain because it decreases inflammation. So whatever the injury is and whatever the body part is, you're trying to decrease inflammation. So in the case of something like osteoarthritis, you're hoping to decrease pain because the wear and tear of the cartilage might be uh, affecting the, the capsule, the lining of the joint that makes all the joint fluid. So when that's irritated, you have pain and swelling and the cortisone hopefully would help with that. If you have like a shoulder impingement where you might have uh, irritation of the rotator cuff tendons as they run under the tip of the shoulder blade, maybe the cortisone helps to decrease pain, decrease irritation of those rotator cuff tendons. The thing to remember about cortisone shots is they're really not doing that much well, I guess except in a few circum, uh, circumstances, the cortisone shot isn't treating the underlying problem. It's working to decrease inflammation, decrease pain, maybe decrease swelling. So as far as the, well, what if it doesn't work, you would really get at doing the things that actually get it better. And again, depending on the injury, you know, what about uh, physical therapy or you know, activity modification or braces or taping or even surgery. So uh, it, that's where it's hard to really say what's the next step. But generally, I think cortisone is good as an adjunct to all of those different things, not as a standalone treatment. So again, we've sort of uh, evolved over this over time. We used to do cortisone shots all the time, just you know, cortisone after cortisone, but we know that that has some problems. And that gets to Jamie's major question as to how often you can do it. There is concern with cortisone that it can, at least if injected into a joint, can actually have damaging effects to the cartilage cells and the cartilage lining in joints. That may not be true for maybe a single injection, but certainly multiple injections over time. That's a real concern so that in young kids, uh, really you know, even people up to the age of 40 or 50, we try to avoid cortisone injections uh, if we can. Uh, again, there is concern that maybe that actually accelerates the wear and tear of the cartilage. Now, as far as that wear and tear, especially with multiple injections, that gets to our recommendation now. Generally, orthopedic surgeons don't like to do cortisone injections really more than about three times a year. And that gets to uh, essentially about every four months. So that's generally the rule of thumb when you're injecting it into the knee. Um, that's the one especially that you use uh, for arthritis type treatments. Now, if it's say into the shoulder or maybe into the elbow with tennis elbow, in theory you could do it more, but it has a different side effect uh, for those problems. There is concern that cortisone can actually weaken tendons. And so, you know, maybe we do it once, but we certainly don't like to do it over and over again. Maybe you just have uh, some irritation or thinning of one of your rotator cuff tendons, but you get five, six cortisone injections. Maybe that you know, weakening of the tendon leads to a rotator cuff tear. Same issue goes in the, the extensor tendon for tennis elbow. 
you know, does that cortisone, especially repeated cortisone, not only make it less likely to heal, but actually lead to a bigger problem. So for joint injections of cortisone, again, I gave you my bias on young people, but as you're getting into people with more advanced arthritis, Generally, we say about no more than uh, three times a year. And again, you heard my concerns about directly into a tendon. If we do it all, you know, maybe you just do it one time. But it's something to ask your doctor because everybody's different, every problem's different, things like that. So it's a good discussion to have when you're basically deciding what to do. Okay, have you had a cortisone shot? And what did you use it for? What was your injury? And did cortisone help you get over it? Were there any side effects? What did your doctor tell you about how often you can get a cortisone injection? I'd love to hear your thoughts. So below this video, share your thoughts, share your experience. I'd love to read it. And I know other readers, other viewers, other listeners from all over the world would love to hear what you have to say as well. If you like videos like this and you want more information on sports and exercise injuries, injury treatments and injury prevention, subscribe to my video channel. In the YouTube page on the upper right uh, corner of this page, click the subscribe button. I record a couple of these videos every single week and they'll get delivered directly to you. Thank you so much for watching. Really hope this was helpful and I look forward to seeing you right here next time.